you are ready to claim your throne because you have what it takes. You are ready. You are ready to step into the light. I'm actually seeing a spotlight. You are ready to shine your light. You are ready because you have what it takes. You are the one who was chosen for this. Okay. I'm, I'm here like giving yourself the benefit of the doubt. There could be some doubt that is laying around that's causing you to doubt yourself. You may be doubting your gifts. You may be doubting your potential. You may be doubting that um, you have what it takes to step into what is new and being presented to you. 211 may ring a bell to you. 211 meaning that what's coming through for you who resonates with this number 211 is that, of course, you have what it takes but trusting in you is setting you free. There is something that you're feeling tied down to. I want to say right before I wanted to make this video for you today, it took a lot to do so. So you may have to cleanse your energetic field. You may need to do a deep cleanse. You may need to do uh, a chakra cleanse for those of you who are resonating when you use your discernment on this video today, because that's going to be some message that's coming across for you as this channel is opened up. Okay. And I also have some other messages and downloads and I'm going to give some full moon messages as well. So y'all go ahead and see somebody buckle up their seatbelt and chill because we finna get into it because you are ready. Okay. You manifested. I also, I literally heard for someone out there, you manifested your dream life. But now you're afraid to take the steps. You are afraid to um, move beyond where you are. Okay, and you're afraid to move toward what is being asked of you. We definitely encourage you to embrace these changes, which is taking me right into this message that I have written out here. Some of you, take it how it speaks to you. You've been seeing 9-11. And 9-11 is saying, stay positive about your life, your sole purpose, and who you are. Because you are needed in this world. Because with your unique purpose and mission, I also was going to say presence, only you can accomplish it. Only you can accomplish what you have come here and set out to do. Only you can do that. You have what it takes. And yes, you are ready. It is time to claim your power. By claiming your power, you have all rights, of course, and free will here on earth to let yourself shine bright and not dim your light for no one. You have all rights to stand in your truth and authentically live as you. You are supported. You have all rights to choose what is and what is it in resonance with you, okay? There are great changes that you are experiencing in your life right now, but you are ready. You have what it takes. It's just an unfamiliar territory. Calm your nervous system. Not a doctor disclaimer, disclaimer. Calm your nervous system. Clear your energy. Get centered and grounded into your, your center right now. Because with this full moon energy, it is here illuminating the shadows and breaking apart some things, okay? This may not feel at ease. What the word tumultuous? I don't even know what that means, but that just come through. Maybe some of you may feel like that. It felt uh, shaky. It felt scary. It felt fearful, okay? Maybe you're feeling like that right now. Maybe this is causing you to feel trapped, right? Feeling trapped, not knowing the way forward because maybe it's because you can't see the way forward, and you're going to have to trust your intuition with this. I'm getting like, uh, you're, you're really learning as we've been speaking about learning to, um, navigate your inner world. Before I go into this, there is a new era here now. So, you know, as shadows are being eliminated, old systems, so old paradigms, things of old, be old ways of being and thinking those things are being shaken up and breaking apart within us. However, it speaks to you wherever you are right now on your journey. And this full moon, we're going to mix all this into this video today because you have what it takes. You are ready. Claim your power. Um, this full moon is probably be mindful of not getting trapped into your head, shall I say. 
okay? Um, negative thoughts. Maybe some of you are feeling trapped into these negative thoughts, negative looping thought patterns. I'm hearing see your way out. There's also going to be chaotic energy that, that comes with this full moon as we just spoke about what it is doing. It is the last super moon, super full moon of this year. So it is helping like, I'm seeing somebody being pushed. It's like, I'm seeing somebody being like cleansing and pushing you out into this new era, into this new beginning. Clearing out all this old stuff from the chapter to begin this new chapter, which completely closes out the old on November 19th, okay? And so it's getting you ready to step into building. I'm all, honestly, for some of you, I heard you're on a new level and some of you, you're going to be moving to another level. This is happening pretty rapidly. Your growth. Okay. This personal development, these changes, they're occurring pretty rapidly in your life right now, but you have what it takes. You are ready. I'm actually here and stay in tune. Okay. And as we go into the inner world, as you're learning to navigate the inner world, trust your gifts. Trust your talents, trust your potential, trust your inner strength. You are like, um, let's say like growing your inner strength right now. Okay. Seeing somebody with some muscles here. So you're growing your inner strength right now. And this could be challenging for you because you're again, navigating uncharted territory. So you're navigating where it's unknown to you as your true essence. It is highly encouraged to embrace the unknown lovely soul, embrace the uncertainty because as your true essence, that's what we do. We embrace the unknown. We don't fear uncertainty. We don't fear the unknown. Although you may have those feelings and that is okay. I am just here to clarify as your true essence, as you, because we all want that part of you that embraces the unknown. So those fears that are coming up, maybe something that needs to be faced and embraced with love for those who resonate. Yes, fears come up. Yes, fears come up in my life too. I just faced them. Okay. Just face them and, 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 and move through them because fear can cripple you, make you feel paralyzed and trapped. And some of you here today are, are experiencing that. Okay. Before I go into these other angel numbers, I want to go into, think of this as a video game. Right? Because exactly, exactly. Some of you here, take it how it resonates, use your own discernment. Some of you here are, you can, you can see what's up. Follow me here. You can see what's up. You can see the illusion. You can see the game. You can see the whole game boy. Okay? <laughs> you see the whole game system. You see what it is. Before I come on to here, I felt that, um, okay, I am going to feel, I'm feeling the energy that some of you are so tired of things controlling how you feel. Okay. We're going to pause there and go back here. So you can control the whole game system, right? There's parts you can control and those, there's rules to the game and there's parts that, uh, you is outside of your control in this game system. Right. But to keep it simple, it be like this. Yeah. So you can see the obstacles clearly right now. Because that song came to me again right before this video. So you can see this game. Your abilities have enhanced, right? So what I'm getting to is like this. It be like this. You be painting your picture of where you're going, where you're moving to next. So you be creating your reality, of course, with your frequency. While you're doing this, seemingly, it seems like certain another energy takes your paint stick and tries to paint the reality it wants for you, right? Which takes you from this frequency that matches what you're calling in, what you're moving towards next, if that makes sense. So you're learning how to control within here and how you feel. Going back to where I just mentioned, you're tired of this, that, and the other causing you to feel a certain way. This is occurring because once again, as I mentioned before, you're learning to use your power and navigate in your inner world to control what you feel inside of here, right? I hope this makes sense to you. So now what at this level, those who resonate, you're like, it's moving different with your emotions. Like as your true essence, it don't matter what happens in your life, your true self, your true essence 
does not allow things to trigger it. That's why you're learning this. That's why you're learning this right now. I'm, I'm learning this too. Okay. So you, you learning more about the light and who you are as divine will help you navigate where you are. Okay. And many of you have been tapping into your higher self, your true essence on a daily. Okay. So you're learning. I heard, so you're learning to also her like, like navigating the flow. So like riding the wave. So your emotions, like what changed now on this level, cause things are learned and unlearned and relearned as we level up is that now you're letting yourself feel what you need to feel, but you're not reacting to it. You're not, uh, you're just letting it flow through you like water. You feel me? Like if you go look at, um, at a rock in the water, the water just flows over the rock. That's exactly what you are learning how to do within. You're allowing your emotions to just flow through, right? And, um, emotions, energy in motion. So you're allowing these emotions to just flow through without being reactive or triggered. It's okay to feel whatever you feel that doesn't take you out of alignment. What takes you out of alignment is when you're triggered or you're identifying with what you are feeling. I hope that makes sense. So this is what you are learning right now. Okay. Yes. Feeling y'all know by now it is. It can be what it is, but it is powerful and it is a superpower because it's your emotions are always, they just want to be felt. Okay. Emotions just want to be felt because you know, in the past we suppressed them, I was about to say we suppressed them things and that ain't work out well for none of us. Okay. So I'm heard, I heard your control, learning to control your reality within. So you're learning to control the world within you, lovely. So before you can control your reality, you have to control it within you, right? So, and I'm also hearing your heaven on earth. You're learning how to live there and be your divine self. Okay. That's a message that just come through right now as well. Okay. So let's get into the fear real quick. So those of you who were resonating with feeling, uh, trapped or in some type of fear, equivalent to some type of fear, let me give you this. So when I, the last two movies that I watched gave across a lot of insight, right? And they had something similar. Right. I spoke about the, um, matrix, uh, resurrections. Now I want to speak about the, um, the craft. Y'all remember that movie back in the gap? Okay. Hit that like button. If I'm speaking to your spirit, hit that like button. If I'm resonating with your soul, hit that like button. If you like this video and drop down any comments and let me know how this message is resonating with you and share this video, baby. And check this out. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Kelly travel spiritually. If uh, you are Instagrammer and if you feel the vibes, you open up to the truth and the realness. Uh, hit that subscribe button in that bell was definitely just brought up another message. Okay. I want to go ahead and get into that message real quick before I go into the video. So listen to the sirens, listen to the confirmation here. This is confirmation. And that also is what emergency, what's the number on there? 911. What we know in, in, in some places, right? What's that number that we just said a while ago? 911, which also means there's something ending and there's a new beginning to something as well, right? Cause 11 looks like something you're walking through like a portal, right? Okay. Um, so what I just picked up before I was going to get into that video about the speaking about some, you know, fear, let's get back into uh, what came up. What came up was you, your authenticity, your realness is magnetic. People are drawn to you. Even people who seem to not like you might say they don't like you, bro. They don't know why they can't keep coming around you or watching you. If you are online, where you work, whatever, how it speaks to you, lovely. So I'm also here. Why are you so obsessed with me? Okay. Take it how it speaks to you. But some people are feeling like that. They don't know why they feel so drawn to you. Okay. I'm, I'm also getting this coming through. Like they're here to watch your glow up. Okay. I'm also getting something about a footstool. Okay. So don't be discouraged about people who are haters. They are on your team. They got your back low key. You have the conscious awareness of this because in a spiritual world, there's someone who is, uh, there could be a best friend. They're here to cheer you on, right? They're the ones who hate on you, maybe gossip about you or whatever and bring attention to you. This is all, everybody play their role. Everybody playing their part. Oh, wow. This seems so deep. Okay. So people are going to be drawn to your authenticity, your realness, your aliveness, your presence, baby, your love. You got that pure love, that big love, that higher heart love. You are a being of love. Love. love for no reason, baby. Love for no reason. Have no reason to love. Love for no reason. That's what I'm getting right now. So 
there's going to be a high demand for people like you. However, it speaks to you in your life, whether you, how are you someone who of, of service to, here to be of service to others? This could be as a teacher, a leader, a healer, a practitioner, a psychic, a medium, however, or even your service, your products, whatever you bring into the table is going to become more in demand in 2025. You're getting ready. You're ready. You have what it takes. You are chosen for this. Okay. There's a lot of, um, going into with what I'm feeling is I was picking up a lot of like separation. So don't be, be mindful that we are all one unity because your true essence is identifies with being one. Okay. Living as one, knowing that everything and every uh, one is interconnectedness. Okay. We're all unity because there is the energy of like separation going on. I'm hearing breaking apart. Take it how it speaks to you because there could be people that are leaving your life. Also things you're breaking apart from because it is meant to happen. Okay. These people are meant to leave your life at this timing. Okay. For those who will resonate to what I'm speaking. Okay. Because you got to trust that. They know what's best for them. Only some, only you know what's best for you. Only I know what's best for me. Only they know what's best for them. Even though this may be hard for you to walk away from them, they know what's best for them. They are on their own soul's journey. Okay. They have their own soul's lessons, just like you. So if it's your time, it doesn't mean it's going to be time for others to be moving where you're moving. Okay. Which bring, which what I just heard right now, they not like us, which brings me to this message. Okay. I'm not, I'm putting my hand right. So I don't forget the other message. Okay. Um, so they not like us. Okay. This is what this means to me. So I saw, I went into the store the other day and somebody's shirt said, they not like us. And literally 30 seconds later, the lady in the store said, we hit the, she told me, she said, we hit the jackpot. Although her meaning of that was at, um, uh, what you call it? Sarcasm to the long lines. I didn't take it as that. Although I'm aware of what's up. I just don't feed into it. Remember you can, you get to choose where you want to, uh, what you choose to direct your energy into what is in resonance with you and what is not. You can see things the way you want. There you go right there. So instead I was like, oh, we hit the jackpot. I started laughing, right? And then I moved over to the other lane that became open and I was drawn to it and went and got checked right out. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all get what I'm talking about. So his shirt said, they not like us. Then she said 30 seconds later, we hit the jackpot. And then I go on Instagram and I find a reel with the, the artist who sung this song. And this reel was with the Cardinal signs. And what he, it was, he was doing his dance. And, and, and the, the caption read that the cardinal signs are leaving people from their past. So you may resonate if you are a cardinal sign. If you're not a cardinal sign, you still may resonate. Okay. I'm just giving you the insight. Okay. So that's going on. They are not like us. We hit the jackpot. This is what I picked up intuitively. And we will be moving different people. We're leaving people from our past and our past. Those notice us won't, so those not like us won't understand. I couldn't even read my own handwriting. So they not like us means to me, they moving different from us. Channel message. I put all that together today, just for you, lovely soul, just for you. You see, you are ready. You're built for this. You are chosen for this and you have what it takes. So people are going to be magnetized towards you. You're moving into a time where you will be seen. You're not looking to be validated outside of you. You will be seen. Perform for you now, baby. Perform for you, not for the world. Perform for you. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Because as your true essence, you don't do things for expectations or attached to things. You feel what I'm saying? So perform for you. Some of you are feeling insecure and, um, if you're, you're hard on yourself. What, what I mean, what am I feeling from this? Like you're hard on yourself. You're feeling, uh, you're feeling down about something, but I think you're being a little bit too hard on yourself. Take that away because it's your true essence. You don't be hard on yourself. So these are all lessons you can see that you're learning on your journey right now. But I feel that, uh, you were, well, you're hard on yourself at some are intimidated by your energy, baby. So accept and love you and be easy with yourself in this new season of new learning, new ways, new being, and new power for you claiming your power. Okay. Claiming what your power is. You feel me? Okay. And how you move, how you direct your energy and when you don't direct it to, you feel me? Rising above, rising above. Okay. As I'm feeling as well and did come in a dream is that, okay. So I feel that some people, some, some people are going to begin to not be able to live any longer with secrets 
and uh, the pain, the trauma and stuff like that. So they're going to want to go on a healing journey, right? Some, some of those out, some people out there, right? They're going to want to go on this healing journey. And I'm feeling like some of these people may come to you because they feel you, they'll feel safe around you. They feel they can trust you. You got to think about how many people were you able to feel like you can trust in your life baby. And, 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 you know, the beginning chapter stages of your life. Okay. Cause now you know what trust is and, and how it operates. It's not something that you just give. It's something that is earned. Okay. So now you're going to, uh, these people, you're going to become like, I think it's connected to being seen, being magnetic. So also to what you came here to do, maybe some of you are beginning to know what your higher purpose is or your purpose, uh, or what your purpose is. Okay. Cause of course our main mission is to remember who we are. Okay. That's our mission. That's all our mission. We all have our own unique purpose. Okay. So people are going to be coming to you. Okay. There is this energy I kept seeing of like battles, like, uh, fighting, fighting energy with people. Okay. So people could be fighting with loved ones. And like I said, separation stuff for whatever that could be current in the world, however it resonates to you. Okay. So you may be seeing a lot of this people not going home for the holidays all of a sudden because of this, this, uh, fighting that is occurring. There's also this fighting that some will begin to experience within themselves. They're going to go on their, uh, their journey, their learning journey. The, those who are in karma, the karma that, uh, resonates with what the energy they've been putting out. Those of you here that resonate and what I'm talking about, you're on the other side of karma, which is what you have been putting out. You can see the difference. So that's what I mean by they not like us. We all want, we unity, but we are, we in different seasons. Okay. So don't get caught up in, uh, stuff that don't resonate with you. Okay. And be mindful of the people and energy that is around you. Okay. Just love all right. Love all you have. You are a being of love, love with no attachments for no reason. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. So getting into the, 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 the fear so the movie I watched was The Craft. And what I want to say is about that is like, she did not know who she was, right? She did not know who she was. And she attracted, she had a lot of light in her. And she attracted in dark friends, right? Who actually wanted to use her, manipulate her, uh, use her power, manipulate her to get what they wanted from her. And she fell for that because she felt like she did not fit in with any other people and she didn't know herself, right? But she knew she had certain gifts that she was kept hidden from others. She didn't really tell nobody about this, but she felt comfortable to tell these people about the gifts that she carried, right? Okay. Uh, the message here is like, when things started to pop off because they were using the energy in the wrong way, which is meaning for the dark. So, I mean, it's going to, anything you put out there, it's going to come back to you. Those are the laws. And um, the lady at the store told them this, right? And the one lady who was filled with pain and trauma, she wanted full power. And so she's the one who took it left and began to use it that way. And when the girl, uh, when the girl went too far, the other girl wanted out. Right. And they were not allowing her to do that. So they began to like haunt her and stuff like that. And she was living in fear and she was very scared and she did not know what to do. It really took to a place of say life and death situation. So basically when they was finna try to take her out in the movie type stuff, that when she, that is when she really realized that who she is and the power she carried. And she had to use that at that time because it, it was going to be that, or they was going to try to take her out. And so she ended up trusting and using her power and she defeated them right? She defeated them and she won, right? And she no longer had this fear that she was crippled in, you know, she know, and it also, it seemed like she even, you know, from what I picked up from the movies, almost like she even healed herself. Like she was able to beat her now in this and stand in this power. Right. And I know in the end, other girls that, uh, were a part of this circle, they came and denied, like, I bet you don't have no power. And she did something to show them that she still did have that power. Okay. So I heard somebody, some people may deny your truth. So you can see just like what I mentioned on the matrix resurrection, when you are crippled in this fear, it's like, it's, 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 uh, not blinding you. It's keeping you from being who you truly are and standing in your power, claiming your power, 
the truth of who you truly are. Okay. The only thing that really is real is love, baby. R love is real. Infinity. Love is the realest thing. Okay. So fear, I heard fear was created by man. Okay. That's what I just heard. So it's fear is an illusion, false evidence appearing real, right? Uh, as another thing I had heard before was what face everything and rise. Okay. That may be in the words of Ralph smart. Cause that's what it feels like that's coming through right now. So you can see what fear really is. Okay. For those of you who are feeling trapped and crippled in this fear, there's nothing true problematic that is in your way right now. So you can move out of this energy, lovely soul, and you're learning to navigate within your inner world. Okay. So I did pull these cards after getting these messages that came through to me, like, uh, these messages that resonate with this, I was picking up on them and then I pulled the cards to clarify. And yes, that's exactly what I was going to talk about to this collective today. 888, eight, eight, you may have been seeing. Be ready for the changes to unfold and know they're aligning you with increased prosperity and abundance. Embrace changes, ideas, and opportunities because they will positively improve your life. 555, five, five. huge changes are unfolding throughout all areas of your life. So choose you, co create positive blessings, and change in your life right now. Okay, so those are the numbers that I seen. And I was guided to write down this information here for you. So I think we spoke on mostly about the full moon and the energies that are playing out right now. Uh, I heard, uh, be easy with yourself. Okay. Calm, cool, and collective. Like literally before this, I looked at my incense and it said, chill out, chill out, relax. Um, it also could feel, um, like let's say like, anxious, uh, or cause that's kind of how I feel a little bit having to kind of stay relaxed. I really want that message was coming through pretty heavy. Those messages. I kind of wanted to not miss skip a beat for you, not skip a beat for you is what I wanted to not do. But, uh, you may feel like, um, hyped up. So stay calm, chill out, chill out. That's what my instant pack said. Chill out. Okay. So you might feel hyped up, chill out because also, there could be like unexpected out the blue triggers. Okay. Those are something that's helping you purge. That is something that's, look at this. Look at these two, bro, these two cards fill out. Look, enter guidance. Look, shining your light. Look, becoming the rainbow bridge. Look at this. You're learning how to navigate within you, okay? You're learning how to keep your frequency high. You're learning how to rise above that that don't serve you. Things that do not align with you will lower your frequency. This is how you know that it is out of alignment with you. You're someone who is here to be the messenger. You are an open channel. Look at the rainbow. There could also be miracles that are going to come towards you. Something is going to open up for you. There are some doors that have been closed for far too long. Pay attention to what you are being guided to do. It is okay to shine your light. It is, it is okay to be real with yourself. Be honest about the things that you are experiencing in your life right now. You're going through a growth process and some things and some people, they just must go. This is a great time of change. And this is a time of ending for new things to flow in. Okay. So trust your inner guidance. Lovely. So trust your intuition, navigate with your intuition. Um, do some spiritual, uh, positive rituals. Okay. Sit by some water. That, that water is very healing. Okay. You may need to meditate and go within, cleanse the chakras, trust your inner guidance, lovely soul, because you are ascending. You are ascending. Look at this. Stay open, stay open. You are ascending. You are rising. Okay. And during this process, you are learning more about who you are. You're learning more about being divine. 
you're rising higher and it can feel painful. And I feel that it means like, you know, uh, growth is, well, you know, there's a word that came to me, like growth is, um, I don't know. It's this, this, the, the journey, the ascending journey, the process period can be painful at times, right? It can hurt. It's not easy. It, it, you're going through phases, right? You're, you're experiencing different emotions, feeling you're purging. Okay. Your body is upgrading. Your light body is changing. Okay. So there's a lot of things that begin to change within you during this time. So you are ascending right now. Look at this. Look at this. You're rising high. I, you're, I definitely heard like you're leaving earth. I definitely feel that that means like, like, I think you're like, it's, you're, you're like your consciousness, like moving into 5d consciousness. You're already been moving there. You already been taking steps toward there. Okay. There are things that you've been experiences that are out of this world. The 5d, you know, the world is like the unseen world. Okay. You know, it gives me mo vibes of movies that we've seen before where, um, Embrace all of who you are, lovely. So embrace all of you. It gives me these vibes when we see movies where some people could see certain people who crossed over, but other people couldn't see. And, you know, like you're able, you're, you're, you're going to be, if you're not already starting to see more of the unseen where you can feel it, you can sense it, you connect with it, you communicate with it in your own way. Okay. So that's what I feel like that means. Let's get a healing message. These messages that we are doing now are coming through. And those cards flew out. So there could be something that just flies towards you unexpectedly. Okay. Um, there could be a gift of yours that's going to be unlocked unexpectedly and unexpected doesn't have to be just triggered. It could be anything that happens suddenly. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Well, we, we're going to give more, more messages, healing messages for this, uh, full moon. Uh, it's in Taurus, full moon in Taurus, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really standing in power harmony. We got the harmony card. I open myself to the divine. I open myself to the divine being within me. I am the image of God. Thus, I have the power to bring light into my life. I turn any darkness in me into something beautiful. In the absence of resentment, anger, or doubt, I find harmony. Look at these cards. Wow, not too much came through with the ascended message because so much came through with this message here. But look at the harmony card. Oh, wow. Magenta giving me higher heart opening, awakening the magenta color of the higher heart. Wow. Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get some more message. Let's get you another. Um, this is a new beginning. Definitely. This is a new beginning. Look at this. This is a new beginning. Lovely soul. This is cancer Scorpio Pisces card. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be a cancer Scorpio or Pisces that are here resonating with this message. They already heard my intention, y'all. Second card, a personal issue is reaching resolution. So something is going to reach a resolution, okay? You know, uh, look at the bigger picture. You know, a more magenta color. I definitely, when I heard resolution, I was like, can I get a resolution? Woo, woo. That's what I heard right then. It definitely felt cheerful, okay? I definitely like feeling something working out in your favor, okay? I heard something turning around and working for you. That's what I'm hearing, Okay. Let me get a self-love message for this full moon for the collective I'm reading for. Reclaim, <laughs> reclaiming my power, okay? I am empowered to create my destiny and cultivate happiness and joy in my life. I do not depend on others to bring me happiness. I'm centered in this source of joy within me, and I know that nothing can take it away. Look at this. Look at this. Confirmation. You can use this as an affirmation. You can speak it to yourself. Pause it. Rewind it back. Write it down. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Reclaim your power. Remember earlier I said somebody had the muscles. I saw somebody with the muscles. Look at this. This is. Look at this. Look at the card. It's giving me the vibes like somebody lifting weights there. Check it out, baby. And it's like in the body. There is no head here. So like. Fully in the body, in the center, right? In the power. That's what I'm, that's what I definitely am picking, picking up here from that message. <laughs> wow. Wow. You're attracting positivity, baby. We are attracting positivity here. Let's get into some more full moon. I'm getting tongue tied here. Okay. Full moon and Taurus message for the collective I'm reading for. Pause. Pause. You're, you're about, you're being asked to pause before I'm getting really excited because there's some, there could be something that's going to excite you. Something that's going to have you jumping up for joy. Okay. Something that's going to like uplift your energy. 
okay going on here that's what i'm feeling because i'm starting to feel so dang inside it like real inside it there's going to be some inside i said inside it there's going to be some insight as well for some of you that's going to get you feeling very excited okay <laughs> oh wow you're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward allow yourself to step back Look at all the possible outcomes and make sure you're heading in the right direction before moving forward to someone out there. That brought up something into me. It's like you're opening up like to this new realm where uh, there's going to be more possibilities. Okay. And you're clearing out, of course, to make room for these new ideas and possibilities that are going to come in. And some of you, they may be already coming into your life. That's what I'm picking up, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, that song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. And the expansion card fell out. Beautiful. I just want you to know. Man, um, someone uh, you love could definitely be missing you. That song comes playing in my head. And I think that also I'm feeling like... You should know how beautiful you are on the inside out and love you. Love you, baby. Fall in love with you. Keep falling in love with you. It's all a journey. Keep loving you, loving you, loving you. You Trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Full moon, full moon message in for Taurus. I keep wanting to say Scorpio, yo. Somebody here is a Scorpio who's really resonating with this message. Then I just heard death and rebirth. Okay, so definitely experiencing this. Trust your instincts. You see, there's a lot of intuition, trust and instinct, trust and trust in your inner guidance here, right? Let's see what's act activation message. Let's see what comes across for the full moon in Taurus. Y'all correct me if I say the wrong name because I don't know. I get tongue-tied sometimes. We got 19. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. Gives me new beginnings. You've been seeing 1, 1, 1? I'm definitely seeing new beginnings. And we just set that on this card. Delight. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we invoke in others. Check this out. Check this out. And that gives me the same with being authentic. The realness. It's like you're attracting in these people because of your presence. Okay. Because of who you are, your realness, you're reminding them of who they are and that it's okay also for them to be them. Right. And when you, when you invoke this, uh, feelings of joy and happiness within yourself, it's like radiates. It's giving me fire, right? It's like radiating out, you know, fire spreads. It's giving me like, it's like radiating, radiating out to them, like 37, 37 on the clock message for someone out there, radiate out to them. It's spreading, right? It's like, I heard like a disease, yo, <laughs> in a good way, right? It's spreading out there. Okay. I heard you are here to change the world. And it all started by changing you. Whoever I'm talking to today, let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know who I'm talking to down below in the comment section. Okay? We got uh, two more cards. Let's get you a message here for the full moon. Trust your path, baby. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? If you knew that you are supported right now, what would you do because you are? And if you feel that you don't know, then journal this. If you knew you were supported, what would you do? So journal that and see what flows through to you. Look at this. It's just giving me another portal. And first thing I'm seeing is 12. Did I see 12, 12, 12, 21? Some of you probably even been seeing 12, 12 on the clock. Like, I don't know, in advance, okay, uh, giving awareness to the next portal as well, uh, the 12, 12 portal. And I'm, uh, I don't know if it's 12, 21, what I just saw, but I don't know. However, that resonates with you. Okay, because that's what is coming through. Okay, so that could be something that uh, I heard increasing in wealth. And I'm also hearing increasing wealth opportunities are coming towards you. So something could, there could be changes that are uh, being created in your life for, uh, I'm hearing highest possible timeline, moving, you know, toward this highest possible timeline. Because I feel like it just, highest timeline is like, just keeps growing up. That's what I feel. Uh, deeper into it, okay? Because I'm definitely seeing a portal right here, look. I'm also hearing, look into the mirror, okay? Look into your, look into the mirror. You'll notice something different about you. That's what I'm hearing, okay? 
And let's go ahead and end it with an angel message for you lovely souls. I love y'all. I wish you the best. Happy full moon in Taurus. Happy Persian. Happy cleansing. Happy new beginnings. Okay? We all in this. We all experiencing this, baby. We all want your unity consciousness. I love y'all real talk. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being you and thank you for doing what you do. You have what it takes because you are chosen. You are chosen for this. You chose this. You already knew what you came with, what you built with, what you can and cannot do. So you are empowering yourself by uh, um, untangling whatever needs to be untangled, leaving behind whatever needs to be left behind, letting go of whatever needs to be let go of, facing whatever fears, baby. There's definitely this fears facing time right now. Definitely, 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 okay? I'm here because you're moving into a time of love, okay? I'm also seeing romantic cycle in my mind. Angels, angels, let's go ahead and end it. One message, please. Stress-free come through. Stress relief. So maybe some of you may feel tense, a lot of tension right now. Uh, relax, find ways to relax. Um, so you're not becoming overwhelmed and feeling stressed out, okay? I'm also here for some of you, not a doctor disclaimer, disclaimer, but change your diet. Look at this. I knew it. I saw 10 on 1. Some of you probably been waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning. This will resonate with you having another spiritual awakening. Maybe that has something to do with the 1212 portal. I don't know. I'm not sure. But 1001 is my spiritual awakening number. And I've been seeing that number. I saw it on like TV the other day. And I saw some other places. And I was going to introduced that message through, but I didn't. And it come through. Thank you, Spirit. New beginnings, personal development, prioritizing creativity, and heading in the right direction. 1001, spiritual awakening. A new phase in a religious or spiritual quest, however it resonates to you, you're going through a awakening, a spiritual awakening, which can feel like a dark night of the soul. A lot of purging, cleansing. And you are on the path to enlightenment and this too shall pass. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. I'm so proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing, baby. You're doing it well. <laughs> you're doing it and doing it and doing it right. Okay. So don't doubt yourself. You got this. Till next time. One love.